why should we make a toad a bone? Well, toads are amazing creatures, and they like to eat garden pests like slugs and gypsy moths, things that gardeners don't like in their garden. But here are our examples. For our first example, we're going to use a terracotta pot. Any size will work. A terracotta saucer is optional. A variety of natural materials, maybe pieces of wood or wood slices. Colored pencils or other kind of decorating. Maybe some pine cones or even some stones and glass stones. You'll need some type of glue or hot glue to attach them. Start by decorating your pot with your pencil or other drawing material. Any shape, any pattern, it's up to you. Once you've got it how you like it, it's time to add some of those other decorations. Use the hot glue or the tacky glue and attach some of your other materials. You'll want to make sure that your materials are safe and non-toxic for toads. Otherwise, it's just up to you and your imagination how you wish to decorate your toad boat. Same thing with the saucer. This is going to become the toad pool or the splash on in. You can use the colored pencils or use the hot glue and attach all those other elements however you like. If your clay pot has a hole in the top, you'll want to cover that up just to keep that rainwater off your toad. You can use one of your stones or any other pieces of material that is large enough to cover that space. Once it's dry and ready to go outside, you want to place your clay pot on a couple, two or three stones to raise it up off the ground. That makes a doorway for your toad to enter and to exit. If you did include that pool, you want to scooch that down into the soil, add some water. You'll want to make sure to keep it filled with water or give it a spritz every day or so to keep it clean. Then you wait for your toads to come visit. This next example, we went right to our recycling bin. These are the materials we found in there. We found a plastic vegetable container. We also found some plastic caps from water bottles. And we decided to add some foam stickers some decorating tools with some permanent markers and some plastic stakes, and we included some paint. First thing we're going to do is use some scissors or a sharp knife and cut our doorways. You want to cut two doorways, a front door and a back door, just in case a snake decides to visit your toad the toad will want to have a back door to make his escape. Now the decorating. Use that tacky glue or hot glue and attach any of those decorations that you wanted. You can even make a sign and welcome your toads. There's no wrong way to decorate. It certainly is up to you. Once it's dry, it's ready again for our toad friends. This third example uses a combination of natural materials and materials from our recycle box. 
this is what we used. A round container, some acrylic paint, we added some buttons, and also some moss. First thing, indeed, cut those doorways. Remember to cut a front and a back door. Since we decided to change the color of our container, we went with some paint. We brushed paint on the outside and let it dry. Once it was dry, we were ready to add our other embellishments. We used hot glue. You could use tacky glue as well. To attach the buttons, ready for our frog or toad. When you're finished with any of your toad abodes, you want to locate them outside in a damp, shady location. Loosen the soil under it or line your abode with leaf litter. Toads like to get cozy. Make sure the abode has a front and back door. And add a pool if you like. Toads like to drink water through their skin and they appreciate a real good soak. Thank you and we hope you have fun.